Good morning, Mr. Grimsdale. Pitkin! Pitkin, wait a moment. Listen, I can explain. Pitkin, I fell through the bathroom floor. Oh, you are a likely story. I believe you're taking over St. Godric's division today, aren't you? Yes, sir. Hmm. Well, you may get a little trouble from Grimsdale's dairy. But it shouldn't be too difficult. After all, you have the finest equipment and the best milk in the country. All you need is initiative. So go out into your territory and sell milk. Yes, sir. Take over, Bancroft. I'm now going back for breakfast. I'll be back later. Right, sir. Right, men. Carry on. How's my lovely Nelly this morning? Hungry? So am I. Oh, I'm only kidding. We better get a move on. We're late. And I couldn't pull the cart myself, could I?
This is a peaceful neighborhood. We don't want any trouble here. Now, go on, shovel! Nelly, keep your eyes open. Someone's smashing our balls. Come on. in the early morn Got a right to be free as the day they were born And if somebody tries to deny them the right to stand and deliver A man's gotta fight or die A man's got a right to think and vote And a man's got a right to drive his float And if somebody tries to take over his round A way to discourage him has got to be found Or die You've been breaking my bottles. Listen, mate. You know what your trouble is? What? You've got a suspicious mind. Just because you see a couple of broken bottles, you assume I've done it. But I know what's going on here. What? I've seen it. What? I've watched them. Who? The cats. I can't blame them. What are you talking about? You've got bottlenecks with cardboard stoppers in the top. The birds come along and peck holes in the stoppers, right? This facilitates the smell of the milk coming out. Mm. What happens? What? Round come the cats, frighten off the birds. They look around, and then they go. Now what? What? They can't get their heads in. Oh. Frustrated beyond measure, they go start raving mad and smash the bottles. Oh. How? Kick them. A cat couldn't kick a bowl, not and smash it. Haven't you heard? All the cats around here have got a heart pad. Mm -hmm. But you put your two bottles down in their place. Well, you don't expect me to stand there and hold them, do you? I've got to do what I'm told. I've got it down here in my book. Two bottles over that side and two over that side. One over there, another over there. And various deliveries. <laughs> With the result? Up go our sails, and down go Grimstones. Oh. I'm going to tell your manager about you. Mr. Hunter, how he will be pleased. 
He's been waiting since four o'clock this morning. He's having his rest period. Oh. I'll give you his address. Oh, yeah. What is it? Two Thorndale Avenue. Two Thorndale. Number two Thorndale, name of Hunter. Name of Hunter. Hunter. Oh. Number two Thorndale Avenue. Go on, Nelly. Name of Hunter. Come on. Consolidated dairies are stealing our customers. That's no reason to burst in here without knocking, Pitkin. As head of this firm, I'm entitled to a little privacy. But, Mr. Grimsdale, they're trying to take our territory. I know that. I had a letter from them yesterday, making me off of the entire business. <clears throat> uh, if you'll excuse me, I'll go and prepare your meal. <clears throat> and yours.
Now? You're not going to sell, are you, Mr. Grimsdale? Uh, of course not, Pitkin. No giant combine's going to dictate to me. And if Consolidated Dairy's tried, we'll break them. We'll break them. But that's what they want to do to us. Don't be silly, Pitkin. They've broken all our bottles this morning. What? That's outrageous. Uh, that's unbelievable. unbelievable. I've been here since 1923. My father established his firm in 1890. I'm going to speak to the general, general manager. manager. Backers, double one, double two. It's B, A, C, one. One, two. Uh, <laughs> you forgot a blooming two. Consolidated dairy. Mr. Hunter, is... uh, Mr. Hunter, please. How do you know? Mr. Hunter's office. Mr. Hunter, please. He isn't there. How do you know? I'm sorry, he isn't here. He's having his uh, rest period. No, stop trying to be psychic, Pitkin. Hello? Mr. Hunter's having his rest period. Could you tell me where he is, please? He's in his garden. He isn't in his garden, is he? No, he's just come in. Wrong, Pitkin. He's not in his garden. Mr. Grimsdale. Grimsdale. Well, where's Austin? Here, sir. Oh. I understand you wanted to see me, sir. Would you be standing here in my office if I didn't want to see you? Remove your hat. Now, Austin, you know as well as I do that Grimsdales are your direct opposition, right? Right. I want them out of business within a month. No, better still, within a week. That's a bit quick, in it, sir? A bit quick? It's not quick enough, Austin. There is no room in this world for small, niggling firms. And old-fashioned, too. Right. They still use a horse. A horse? Tell me, does the horse ever get sick? You mean something in its food to confuse it mentally? Uh, now, now, Austin, nothing underhand. But the main thing is, if Grimsdales can't deliver the milk, we can. It's time for your pill, Mr. Hunter. Oh, thank you. Back early, aren't you, Pitkin? Yeah. What's that in all these full bottles? I'm just sold, isn't it? Uh, now, Mr. Grimsdown, mm -hmm. consolidated dairies with whom we are in opposition have infiltrated. Have done what? In, infiltrated. Mm. into Rossington, Cartwright, and Wood Street. But it's yes, all right, but it's all right, it's all right. You have got nothing to worry about because I, I have just recaptured Blenheim, Blenheim, Blenheim Port Sister, mm. and Port Rouse Road. Aye, but that's not good enough, Pitkin. You've got to do better than that. Better? What are you talking about? They've got an electric boat that tears uphill like a bomb. Now, mm. you can't expect Nellie to gallop uphill full stretch with a full load now, can you? You've got a whip, haven't you? Vanelli? No, I have not. You'll have to think of something else. That electric float of theirs, does it ever go wrong? No. Could do. Electric. Change the wires round. You know. Sure did. No, 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 Pitkin. Nothing underhand. But, uh... If they can't deliver the milk, we can, eh? Austin's my name. From Consolidated Dairies. Oh, uh, I don't blame you, mate. If I was you, I wouldn't want to shake hands with me either. I'm wicked, mate. I know that. If you threw me out of this shop now, and then got all the people in that street out there to stone me, not one word of complaint would come from my lips. Because I know what I've done wrong, mate. Broken your bottle. I suppose he's uh, told you about all this. Yeah, right. Now, now what makes a man want to break bottles? Headaches, mate. Split. 
in, in blinding headaches. But never again. I found a new thing. It's called aspirin. Yeah. But that doesn't help to bring your bottles back, does it? And it's no use me coming here empty-handed to say that I'm sorry. So, uh, here you are. A few apples. Bought out of my war pension. <laughs> For your horse, Mary. Nelly. Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm shocked at names. Uh, Nelly. They come from here, mate. That's where they come from. Here. Lovely horse, that Mary. Nelly. Nelly. It hits me emotions, mate. myself look a fool. <gasps> I wish I hadn't come here now, mate. Aren't you ashamed of yourself, Pitkin? A nice man like that. You're too hasty, Pitkin. I don't think... Ah, so. that's right. You don't think. That's your trouble. Well, then, uh, which one am I going to have? Well, they're Nellie's. Well, one for each of us and the rest for Nellie, eh? You've got the biggest one. Well, you have the smallest one. That uh, evens things up, don't you? Nellie's. 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 Where are you going? I'm just going to give him to Nelly. Stop worrying about that horse. I'll let you know when it's time for her to have her apples. Go on, you've got work to do. Well, where are you going then? I'm just going to have a bit of uh, rest. I was just uh, changing my slippers, uh, Pitkin. Hmm. Well, that didn't take long, did it? What? Even those apples to Nelly, she managed her way there. Why don't you sit down, Pitkin? We're watching telly. Here? Hmm. You had your apple yet? No, it's in my coat pocket. Gone out of the 
perfect picture. Fight them both for us. Three, double three, please. Double three, double three. Oh, well, you know, double three, double three, then. Yeah, it's the doctor's house. Uh, this is the doctor speaking. Uh, it's Nelly. <laughs> Nelly, hello! Oh, no, 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 look, no, no, Nelly's not well. Oh, what are her symptoms? Well, well, she, she's dopey. Well, most wives are. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know what's wrong with her? No. Do you? Could you come and see her, please? Oh, I, I'm afraid I'm terribly busy at the moment. What with one thing and another. What are you doing there? Uh, I, I'm held up at this moment. Oh, no, no, can't you come at all? Oh, I'm pretty sure I shan't be able to get away. But she can't even stand up. Oh, there are plenty of people here like that, lying all over the floor there. Oh, you're well, ill, I suppose, in a surgery. Well, what am I going to do here? Oh, well, the most important thing to do is keep her warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep her warm. Uh, take her to, uh, put her to bed with a hot water bottle. Yeah, all right, yeah. Uh, with some hot water in it. Oh, well, cold. Uh, oh, have you got any sleeping pills? Yeah. Good. Yeah, well, there's some in the cabinet there. Good. They're on and the you... top shelf, I know that. Yeah, fine. Look, if you... They're in the bathroom. Splendid. I'll tell you... There's no one Well, give her one! <laughs> They're in the mouth poison and everything. Mr. Lewis Dale's one's there. 
I've got an awful thumping in my head. That's just it, Mr. Grimsdale. It isn't in your head. Hey. It's coming from up...
do you think you're doing? What? Where's your horse, Mary? Nelly! Did she eat all the apples? Oh, well, uh, Mr. Grimsdale ate one, and, and of course, uh, I... Why? Nothing. Oh, so that's it. That's why, Nelly, you dope those apples. So what? So what? <laughs> <coughs> This is war, mate. War. Little men like you don't stand a chance. Mr. Grimsdale, it's war! It's what? Well, we, we've, uh, we've had a bit of bad luck. Consolidated and smashed up our hand cart. Milk. Milk? Milk? It, it, it's... Um, well, it, it, it's war. Well, war or no war, Pitkin, you knock. Even Drake was allowed to finish his game of bowls before he went into battle. But you'll excuse me. I... Besides... We're beaten, Pitkin. Consolidated's too big. Oh, um... You was at Dunkirk, wasn't you, Mr. Grimsdale? I wonder what would have happened if you'd given up then. You're right, Pitkin. We'll find them to the last half pint of milk. <laughs> B, A, C. One, two, two. Mr. Hunter's office. Oh, just a moment, please. Mr. Hunter, Mr. Grimsdale. Tell him to go and... Now, listen to me, Grimsdale. We are in trouble. Mr. Hunter, I demand an apology. Mr. Hunter is going to play golf. Going to play golf. Oh. That man needs a good lesson. I'm going to see he gets one, too. He's got to be taught right from wrong. He's got to be taught that, Mr. Grimsdale. Right, Pitkin, off you go to the golf course. Yeah. Me? But I thought that you... Pitkin, I'm the chairman, the managing director. He's only the general manager. Think of my position. He must be taught that good transcends all evil. Made to see the error of his ways. Love maketh no ill will to its neighbor. Let him, therefore, cast off the wicked works of darkness and don the armor of light. Hey, beautiful, Pitkin, beautiful. Hey, hey, oh, Lord. Very well, Mr. Grimsdale. I shall go to him. Oh. Heads. Ah. Hmm. Too bad, Colonel. <laughs> 
Excuse me. Um, could you tell me why I contained Mr. Hunter? Can't you be? Oh, I, I do beg your pardon, Reverend. You have got to be taught what is right and what is wrong. We appreciate your company, Padre, but we're trying to play a game of golf. Uh -huh. Now! if he wants it. Now come back here. She'll never be able to get it out of there. Uh, Come on. What a day. I wish I hadn't come. It's your fault and his. you two strokes, Hunter. Look what you've done to my trolley, you! And, uh, where is your gratitude? I was the one who found your ball. <laughs> that ball and you have cost me two strokes! Give me that club. 
Bob. <laughs> Beat your brains in. Leave it to me. Care to concede? Certainly not. That's it, Mr. Hunter. Never, never, ever a see die. <laughs> We'll soon get it, Mr. Hunter. What up there? Give me a leg up. I shall do no such thing. You better concede, old man. Get up. Give me a foot. Come on. Up you go. Up. Go on. You know, it's absolute madness to try this shot, Hunter. Give me a hand, Colonel, would you? Why don't you concede, Hunter? No! There it is, Mr. Hunter. Where? Up there. Oh, yes. Let's get above it. Uh, yes. for the big firms uh, to try to put a little shop out of business. You can't impede the wheels of progress. But instead of fighting, Mr. Hunter, why don't consolidated dairies and Grimsdales try to help each other, uh, like I'm helping you now? Oh, for goodness sake, why don't you shut up? Oh, it's gone into that bird's nest. I can see that. Get me over it. Well, let go of the branch, then. I personally guarantee that Consolidated will obliterate Grimsdale's within a week. Within an hour. Now! Kaya, wait till I get... You horrible little vicar, you! See, Mrs. Oskin. Oh, would you mind if I called you Gladys? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I I've been thinking, you see, we've had so many nice times together, and, uh, well, uh, I, I was wondering... Uh, I, I don't quite know how to put this, but... Uh, uh... Ooh, Thomas! Gladys, what's the matter? I'm so happy! Oh. Oh. Mr. Grimsdale! Before Pitkin, not after! Oh. 
you'll excuse me. Oh, you stay here, Pitkin. A word in your ear, please. Pitkin, I need your help. I am trying to help Mr. Grimsdale. Now, I've just had a meeting with Mr. Hunter. Oh, forget Mr. Hunter. Yeah, it's... yeah. I agree. We don't need him. I should soon have a few more ideas that'll have consolidated dairies crawling to us. Pitkin, I'm in love with Mrs. Hoskins, but well, I haven't got the courage to propose to her. You're not thinking of getting married with the firm halfway down the drain, oh? Now, if you were to propose to her on my behalf... Me before? ...and get her to marry me, then I could concentrate on the dairy, don't you see? Put the firm back on its feet. On its feet, Pitkin. She's happy, Pitkin. <laughs> Mrs. Hoskins? Yes? <laughs> Mrs. Hoskins, do you ever think about getting married? I never think of anything else. <laughs> there, there comes the time... When a man should take a wife. <laughs> but he doesn't always be lucky enough to find the one he wants. <laughs> you follow me. I think I think any two does Mr. Grimsdale know about this? Oh, he did. He's dead keen on the wedding. The wedding? <laughs> a proposal then? <laughs> yes. Oh, well, I Perhaps I'm a lucky girl. Twice in one day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 I Mr. Grimsdale said if you accepted, he'd put the dairy back on his feet. I don't care about the dairy. Oh, I do. The whole world must know that we mean business. Oh, Norman, you're wonderful. It's settled then. Yes. I... What are you doing? Mr. Grimsdale. going to be married. I have filled that. Why don't you stop behaving like a child? Don't you dare talk to me like that in my shop. Your what? Shop? Look at it. Bare. Hardly anything left. Bit of butter, couple of eggs. If it hadn't been for her making you lovesick together, we could have put consolidated dairies right out of well, business. I'm not lovesick any longer, am I, Pitkin? And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. What? I'm going to start all over again and put this shop back on its feet. Then I'll show you how to work. That will be the day. And where would you begin? Me? Well, well I'd start off by economizing. That's it. Economize. That's what I'm going to do. And the first thing to get rid of is Nellie. So you can take her to the old horse's home right now. Uh, Mr. Grimsdale, if I say I'm sorry, can Nellie stay? You can't have it always, Pitkin. The horse and Mrs. Hoskins want to take the shop. I don't want the shop. And I don't want Mrs. Hoskins either. You don't want... Mrs. Hoskins. No, I do not. Oh, Pitkin. I'm sorry, I, I misjudged you. 
Now, everything is going to be all right, eh? So Nelly can stay, then? No. For some time now, business hasn't been too good. And, well, Mr. Grimsdale reckons that it's time we started to economise. So, I've got to take you to an old horse's home. Well, it's all right. It's, well, it's sort of like a horse's holiday camp. Yeah, that's it. Like horse's holiday camp. Will there be... Lovely green fields. And, and you won't have to get up early in the mornings either. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be able to come and see you on midday's off. Still. I suppose you'll soon find a new friend, won't you? then. Where's your red coat? Come on now. We'll work together again, even if it is only for a little while. Drink in! Quiet, Nelly. Yes, Mr. Grimsdale! What's going on down there, Pitkin? Uh, nothing, Mr. Grimsdale. I, 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 I was just going to start work. You got that horse down there. How dare you defy me? Get rid of it at once. Mrs. Grimsdale, if you please, who were married. Special license. Uh, I, I shan't keep your moment, my love. <laughs> well, Pitkin, what is it? It's about Nellie, Mr. Grimsdale. Now, if I pay for her food myself, can we keep her? No, we cannot. Then I'm sorry, I shall have to leave. No, 
Look, Kenny, you don't understand. We're broke. I'm prepared to admit it. Consolidated dairy is a weakness. But now, of course, in view of our additional responsibilities, I have decided to accept their offer and merge our business with theirs. But we shall be swallowed up, Mr. Grimsdale. Nonsense. I shall demand the firm be called Grimsdale's Consolidated Dairies to be split right down the middle. We shall get half their business and they'll have half ours. And uh, who do you think will be chairman? <laughs> what about me? I've never let you down yet, Pitkin, have I? You have to go too, but all in good time, Pippin. Oh, well, we we have a new staff. Mm. May I look see? Sir Roger Wedgwood. Chairman. Um temporary. Oh. <coughs> Come on. Would you kindly inform Sir Roger Wedgwood that I am here? Oh? And what name, please? Thomas Grimsdale. MP. Uh, yes, of course. Milk proprietor. Uh, Thomas Grimsdale, MP, to see Sir Roger. Yes. Would you care to go up, sir? It's on the fourth floor. You've got a button undone there. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. What's your name? Uh, Huggins, sir. Sir Roger Wedgwood? Now, nah, Frank knows. Good morning, Mr. Grimsdale. Yes, and Mr. Pitkin. How do you do? Would you come this way? This is, um... Contrast. Roger, Mr. Grimsdale and Mr. Pitkin. And you have a board meeting in two minutes, sir. Thank you, Cartwright. Uh, good morning, Grimsdale. Uh, uh, Mr. Pitkin. Good morning, Mr. Pitkin. Uh, Mr. Oh. Grimsdale. Uh, Grimsdale. Uh, won't you sit down, gentlemen? Well, now, Mr. Um, Grimsdale. Yeah, Grim, Grimsdale. Grimsdale, do you drink the bell? Yes, I have no indication. Grimsdale's dairy. Oh, uh, Grimsdale's dairy. Oh, yes, of course. You've caused us quite a lot of trouble. Oh, have we? Oh, I like that. <laughs> so you finally decided to come to terms? Well, uh, yeah, we, we don't want to keep flashing. Uh, very sensible of you. Now, the next thing we must do... What? <clears throat> is uh, to, to discuss the basic details. Well, well give what you a I had in mind... Uh, uh, from uh, with my... Uh, come in, Walter, will you? <laughs> and I shall look forward to a further discussion shortly. Oh, right. There'll be many a chat in a cup of tea as soon as we get to know each other, you know. Uh, and now, if you'll forgive me... I have an important board meeting to attend. Ah, oh, Hunter. Uh, Mr. Grimsdale and Mr. Pitkin. <laughs> Hunter, they want to come to terms. Kindly be good enough to attend to them. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Grimsdale. Pitkin. Follow me. Very 
Nice. Well, gentlemen, what are your terms? Uh, you can have half of our business, but of course we shall want half of yours. And it's got to be called a Grimsdale's Consolidated Dairies, and he is going to be the chairman. He is going to be... Are you insane? Or is it possible you believe what you're saying? No, no, definitely not. Now, get out. Before you go, come here. Let me show you both something. You see this? All of this is us. Grimsdale's. Ah, uh, Grimsdale's. Right. That's the face of Grimsdale's. It's gone. Understand? It's gone. Don't go for it. Obliterated. No longer in existence. Now. Out. Out. Ooh. Out. Out. He's joking. Well, Enter. I... Now, go on. <laughs> when you get home tonight and you're dying to have a cup of tea, I hope you haven't got a drop of milk in the house. Will you get out? <laughs> now I think we should look at the file to Grimsdale's lease. <laughs> yes, Mr. Hunter. <laughs>
four lines of hose into the building and I'll take the ladder up to the fourth floor. Right, sir. Chief, ain't you? Yeah. You've got a bit of a fire on your hands here. I've done all I can, and now it's up to you. Oh, thank you very much. I'll put you in a picture. There's a bloke stuck in the lift. His name is Grimsdale. You there? Oh! There you are. Have you set a fine example? Right, Poggy, you've got that. Up the top of the lift shaft and try to release the coach. I'll take that. Oh, this fell off here. Harris, stand ready with Hogan. Which one's Alice? Come on, Alice, hurry up. There's a fire. Hey! Chief, we... Chief? Oh. You all right, Chief? No, oh, give the order. Hey? Give the order. Give the what? Give the order. I'll come give the order. They won't take any notice of me. I'm not in charge. You mean, you mean I am in charge? Oh, Chief. But there's still people left in the building, sir. Well, if we put the fire out, they won't have to leave, will they? Water on! I shall take that. Water on. Water on! Water coming through, sir. Follow me! Charge!
fire! Well, breathe out then! He's gone! We're out of water, sir! No, yes! Wait. for this outrage. I am the general manager. Well, I'm the fire chief. Where's the fire? If you're the fire chief, you should know where the fire is. There is no fire. Some idiot was messing around with a smoke purifier. I just put it right. Come on, you men. Don't stand about. No fire. Hello, Ward. On. See you get ten years for this. You can see what you like. You can have me beheaded on the gallows. You can even hang me on the guillotine. As ever, I was only trying to help, which is more than I can say about you or your lot. All this is nothing compared with what you've done to us. You and your dirty methods have put our dairy right out of business. Shh. Never mind about shush. I'm going to tell everyone! We was just a... just a little tiny firm. Trying to give a bit of personal service. We didn't care about making a great big fortune. We only had ten streets. Ten! But Consolidated still had to push us out. They broke all our bottles. They smashed up our hand cart. Do you know they even poisoned my horse, Nelly? She used to pull our milk float. And poor old Nelly is now residing in an old horse's home. Now listen, um, Pit, um, Grimsdale. Pitkin. Pitkin? Yeah. Pitkin. Uh, you can have your round intact. Uh, and you have my personal assurance that we'll leave you alone. Uh, provided that you leave us alone. You, you understand? You leave us alone. alone.